We're looking at two narrow spectrum drug targets right now in my laboratory. The first is an enzyme called FabK, which is specific to the bacteria Clostridium difficile. The second is a DNA active protein called Topoisomerase 1 in Streptococcus. Now that's specific um, to uh, the entire genus of Streptococcus, but um, we're looking at Streptococcus mutans, which is an oral pathogen that's also been associated with certain um, blood and heart infections. The quinolone antibacterials are broad spectrum agents that target what we call type 2 topoisomerases. Now these are topoise, the, the topoisomerase enzymes unwind DNA. As, as DNA is replicated by uh, polymerases or um, copied, it supercoils. And the topoisomerases are responsible for relaxing the supercoils and then there's some others that are responsible for recoiling it. Um, there's two types of topoisomerases. Those that cut both strands of the DNA, like this, and then pass another through and then reconnect. And the type ones that only cut one strand of DNA, pass through and reconnect. The quinolones target the type two topoisomerases. Uh, there are no drugs on the market, antibacterial drugs on the market, that target the type one bacterial topoisomerases. So my laboratory is looking at those. The reason that we think that it could be a narrow spectrum or a selective antibacterial target is because there's two type 1 topoisomerases, and we call those topoisomerase 1 and topoisomerase 3. All bacteria have topoisomerase 1. Most bacteria also have 3, and they have an overlapping role. So if you were to try to knock out topoisomerase 1 from a bacteria that also had topo 3, um, you could do it because topo 3 can continue to do the job. But you can't knock it out from an organism that only has topo 1. So the hypothesis here that we're uh, working on and that we're presenting our, some preliminary data today is that organisms that only express topoisomerase 1 as opposed to those that have both topo 1 and topo 3 will be differentially susceptible to the inhibition of topoisomerase 1. So essentially our hypothesis is that you'll see a selective or narrow spectrum activity if you can selectively target topoisomerase 1 in bacteria like the streptococci that only have topo 1.